This is Ben Petty at BCLUW High School and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how with the new Mac Snow Leopard operating system how you would embed a link easily into a PDF file. Now this is something that I might share with my staff in an in-service or as a teacher you may have an article that you give to students and want to have some links embedded in it. So as a PDF file you could either email it to your students, upload it to study with Spark, or get it to them in a variety of other fashions. Now, the example I'm going to use here is an article called The Creativity Crisis that comes from a previous tutorial where we learned a few things on highlighting text, uh, adding notes to it, striking through text we don't need, and adding text boxes, which in this case I used as a separate subheading in the article. This time, to embed a link, what we need to do is again go to the View and Show Annotations Toolbar. Let me click on that. Now at the bottom of the screen, we see a variety of tools. I'm going to scroll down into it in the article to a section that I thought was important to educators. It talked about a creative problem solving method and an example of fifth graders who had to reduce the outside noise from a library using different materials and coming up with scale models of the library. And then at the end of that, it talked about something called Treffinger's Creative Problem Solving Method. Now it discussed that in the article beforehand but didn't really go into any detail on it. I found a separate link that talks more about that that I think would be valuable for teachers to read. So to embed that link, I'm going to go down to the tool that kind of looks like a chain link. Click on that. Highlight the area of the article that I want that link to be embedded. Now if I go to Safari, I've already found this article, it's called Critical Thinking and Creative Thinking Skills and it talks about the creative problem solving model and the six step method for, for that model. I think this would be important informa information for teachers to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Minimize Safari again. And I'm back here at the link. The link type it defaults to link within a PDF, but that's not what I want. It's a separate website, so I'm going to change that to URL. And then there's a box here. I'm going to paste in my new URL. Close out of that. Remember to click on the link tool again. And now as I scroll down through the article, when I get to that section where I want my link embedded, you see the little hand pops up. And so if I click on that, it brings up my web browser and here's my article on the creative problem solving model. So that's how you would embed a web link into a PDF file with the Mac Snow Leopard operating system.